let me not show my boots. How y'all doing? My name is Courtney. I bought this from these beautiful boys. They have um, this dope group called Thunder Boys Production. And yeah, I just followed them, so you should too. Um, they had them at one of the protests and it was so dope. It was so dope getting it. This is like my favorite shirt. I think I'm just gonna wear it every day because uh, I think it's just so beautiful. It has all the names, all the names that were, um, you know, savagely taken taken by the disgusting uh, 12. It's fuck 12, baby. It's um, defund the police. It's completely, I want to start over. I want to fucking do over. Like completely. Um, and we can just start a whole new uh, security force or something that is not racist and that benefits people that look like me that protects people that look like me. Um, at this point, they're doing more damage than good. But, you know, somebody told me, I mean, what do you expect? Their initial job from the beginning was to, you know, catch runaway slaves and bring them back to their masters. Um, it, it seems like this shit was rooted in racism. And something that's rooted in racism, I don't know if it'll ever stop. I don't know if any of the things that are happening will stop. I think we just need new, a something new. So it's like, let's abolish it. Let's just abolish it. Let's start over. Let's do real courses, real psychological tests for anyone who would like to join like this new, I don't know, security force i'm talking about new name i don't even like the word police new fucking name new everything you know where did i get this shirt these boys thunder boys production they were selling it i don't know if it's a bad thing because i don't know if black lives matter it might be trademarked they might be like eh, but it's for a good cause <laughs> uh anyway thunder boys production uh they were selling it at the uh, this protest that I went to a couple days ago. And so I'm about to just wear it every day and just, I don't have a, I don't have a, a washer machine. So I'm just gonna have to hand wash this shit and it's going to just be smelling like whatever. So don't get too close. Or get too close, smell it, and read it. Thunder boys. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys. I love you. I missed you. Um, I really enjoyed the break because, um, yeah, I've just been living life and having a really fun time. Okay? I've been having a really fun time living life. And... You know, when you're not completely consumed in social media, you can literally just, I don't know, be completely consumed in like family and friends and your dreams, whatever your dreams are, um, whoever needs help, what's going on in the world, you know, when you really like cut back. So my plan eventually is to, to cut all the way the fuck back again, but like seriously. Like, I'm talking about no more burner accounts where I'm snooping and still checking what they're saying. I'm talking about, like, completely off-gridding it like a Andre 3000 who just seems so at fucking peace just walking around in New York. I don't know if he still is, but I'm just saying, like, when he was, <laughs> just walking around in New York, like, without a care in the world, as if he's not Andre 3000. I'm not comparing myself to Andre, I'm just saying. Like, I just wanna be like free and, you know? So, yeah, it's definitely a burner, kid. Um, I'ma just tell y'all what the burner is so that I stop. Um, 
And my burner is Lil Bitch Fuck 91. <laughs> my burner is Lil Bitch Fuck 91. So now that y'all got it, you know that if you see any action on that page, I have fallen short again. And you can get me all the way together and say, bitch, you have work to do. Hey, Zara. <sighs> oh, man. But, hey, Sherrod. Y'all, check out Sherrod Natural. He's a beautiful soul. Um, he has amazing art, and he's just good vibes. He can do some amazing hair. Hey, Aziza. I need y'all to check out my homegirl, Aziza Murphy. Uh, one of the most amazing visual artists that I know. Um, she's phenomenal and I can't wait to get a spot so that I can buy all of her pieces. Not all of them, maybe two because I have to save money, but two. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to buy like two pieces from like all of my amazing friends that do art and just decorate my house with just black art so Sherrod I'm coming for you kid I'm coming for you Aziza I'm coming for you we're just going to decorate the spot with pieces yeah I've moved back to DC it's official my car is here my stuff is here um most of my stuff is in storage somewhere so um yeah as you can tell I just woke up so <laughs> thank god you're not right here Me too. Um, I think that probably also plays a part in like not feeling well is just not being around people that are so fucking real and sweet and care about you. Like not only family and friends, it's like good to be around family and friends out here, but it's also cool to be around people that are just nice. You know, like people that really just I don't know it's like DC's different like I'm just like holy shit I, I just like what people like know me like it's cool I didn't I'm not I guess I'm not used to that like you know what I'm saying so it's nice that there are like sweet people that are sweet how was the DC tribe honey <sighs> like okay let me just tell y'all some of the stories okay if you ever want to drive from LA to DC, I'm gonna give you some freaking tips. I think it's say, be, better to do it with a friend, um, but also it's also annoying to do it with a friend because here's the thing, you can listen to Rico Nasty a million times in a row and nobody can tell you shit. So I had a good time just playing, um, just falling in love with Rico Nasty's album with her music, with her discography. I burnt a hole through her discography. Um, that's a whole nother discussion. Like you can literally play things over and over and no one's there to be like, can we just, can we just play the next song? No, I'm gonna play this fucking song. I'm gonna play Transforma five motherfucking times in a fucking row because that's what my soul needs. That's what my beautiful black female soul needs. I need aggression. I need to, I need it to get the fuck out. I need to feel like it's okay to be black, to be fucking weird and black, to be angry and fucking black. Um, why is that such a fucking bad thing? These little Karen fuck ass bitch fucks are allowed to be angry. They've been angry for so fucking long and no one ever is just like, these bitches be angry. These bitches be angry for no fucking reason. We are whole beautiful black people angry for fucking reasons on reasons constantly tried constantly tried but we're not allowed we're not allowed fuck no nah. so i'm listening to rico getting my life happy like wow sorry i can feel it like wow wow it's okay you know what i'm saying it's okay to be just different to to express um anger you know so i fucking love it rage i like bad bitches who be rage rage and she's screaming and it's like a it's like i love black women 
who are so confident and strong and they be talking their shit. They be talking their fucking shit. Real sassy with it. Real fucking sassy and sure with it. She's talking her shit. A, a real black woman, a black mother. Like, you're gonna keep my name out your fucking mouth. The oh. Keep my name out your fucking mouth. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she be saying. She said, stab you with a pencil so you get the memo. She said, stab you with a pencil so you get a fucking memo. This, okay, focus, the drive. Yes, I just, I need you guys to understand. I lost my fucking, like, every time I get sad, every time I get doubts, I turn on Rico Nasty and I'm, and I'm reminded I'm that bitch, okay? And that is for every black phenomenal queen out there if you ever doubt yourself if you ever feel like you're not enough in any fucking way turn on that fucking rico nasty and you're gonna quickly fucking remember honey you're gonna remember yes there are other things you could do there are other things that you could do that remind you that you are that bitch but if you just want a quick quick musical reminder but anyways back back to this um back to this road trip so it was a beautiful thing. I was able to find out about artists that I had never like really dove into before. So that was dope. Um, Trippy Red, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know, I don't know details of Trippy, but I'm just, there were some love scars. He said a little bit of problematic shit, but hey, who isn't problematic? He said a little bit of problematic things in that song, Love Scars, but I fuck with it. I love it. I said, wow. I was getting my life to Trippy. I was getting my life to um, Juice World. Who else was I listening to? Party Next Door. Shawnee. So excited. Oh my God. Excitement. I was like, yes. First of all, I want to see a fine ass stripper bitch bust it wide open to excitement. I, COVID is a very serious thing. It is terrifying what it is doing. So I need us to be safe and wear a mask and six feet apart. It, we got to continue to do that. Also, I'm looking forward to the day when the strip club opens and they play excitement. And I see a fine ass stripper bitch fucking pussy pop on the goddamn handstand to excitement party next door. I need that. I need that. Do I have a booger? Fuck. I need that. So I'm really excited. But anyway, shiny. But anyway. Oh, and I've been falling in love with DBSN. There's this damn song. Um, no crying in the club. That one, I love it. You know I was in love. I love it. I love it. I love it. But anyway, okay. So tips. Driving from LA to DC. This is what you have to do. Have some friends. Um, it'll help you get there twice as fast. Um... And you know, where one is weak and tired, the other is strong and awake, and y'all can just knock that out. If you're by yourself, I say six to seven hours a day, realistically, is what you're gonna have to do. But the second to last day, I, I said, I was tired. I was on four hours of sleep. But I said, 11 hours, we're gonna push through. We're gonna push the fuck through because I need my last day of this road trip to be no more than four hours on the road so that I can actually do it and not be stressed and tired. Um, so yeah, but anyway, here's some things that you're going to have to realize. Jeeps. I love my Jeep. It is not safe in Oklahoma. Best believe the most beautiful sight to see is a speed limit sign that says 75 miles an hour. The worst part of it is having a car that will literally fucking try to fly away. Because for some reason, Jeeps cannot handle that wind. The wind, the Jeep said, oh, it's wind. It's a, it, we're a plane now. We're trying to take off now. We're a whole goddamn fucking Boeing, baby. Like, that's what the Jeep thinks when a little bit of fucking wind hits it. And it's, it's not cute. So that drive from L.A. to, like, the end of Oklahoma, that ass is flying away. And it is not a good feeling. There were two times I had to slam on my brakes. When you feel that wind coming for that ass... 
Hold on tight to that goddamn steering wheel, baby. Hold the fuck on for dear life. Hold the fuck on for dear life. Slam on those fucking brakes, baby. And, 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 and humble yourself and get the fuck over to the other lane and let these bitches pass you. You need to be at no more, no higher than 70 miles per hour. You are not a speed demon in a fucking Jeep or any, any type of car that is just gone with the wind, bitch, because you will be dead. So that was, that was something that I realized, like, my baby is not a speed demon or we will die. That was hard to realize. It was, I had a lot of ego, <laughs> like, driving, having to get over, and everybody was like, mm -hmm. you know, because I was doing my thing. I was, I was just, just, yeah, that's right, you slow. I'm cutting in front of you, but not like, not like aggressively, but you slow by, bitch. And then when the wind hit me, it humbled me. And everybody is it, you know, that's what they was, that's the energy they were giving me as they were passing me with their cars that do not, that are capable of handling that speed. <sighs> Glad you made it safe. How many miles is that on Jeep? How many miles on that Jeep? My miles on my Jeep is probably at 22,000, 22,000. I'd be, I'd be like going everywhere in my baby. So, um, and she's a year and a, she's a year and a half old. We do need that humility. Yes. <laughs> so I'm glad it happened. Um, and I also think it's a sign from God. Like it's okay to drive under the speed limit. It's okay to slow down because you know, um, you got to prepare for certain things like animals. Sorry, I don't know why I paused connection. Okay, you got to be prepared for certain things like animals crossing, um, which is why I don't drive at night. So I would always drive in the morning, like during the day, six or seven hours during the day because I feel like it's safer. Um, and you're just going to be a lot more awake, at least with me. I'm going to be a lot more alert and awake as long as it's daytime. Um, I guess cons... You're drinking all of this fucking caffeine. By the time you get to the goddamn hotel, you're just, you're awake as fuck. You know what I'm saying? You're awake as fuck. Lil Rel. Oh my God, you're hip. You have a Jeep? Oh, it's the worst in the wind. Y'all don't want no wind in your Jeep unless you're driving under the speed limit. Now I know it's time, not time right now because we saving money for a spot. But one day I'm going to look into getting another car that can handle speed. But then it's just like, why do I need to speed? I don't know. It's dangerous. But yeah, okay. So roadkill. We just want to make sure, you know, that's, that's something we have to look out for. So driving during the day is easier. Also, watching your speed because these trucks, they're just, everything's cool. And then all of a sudden they become moody little bitches. And they're like, no, I'm in your lane now, bitch. I'm in your lane now and you're going to fucking slam on your fucking brakes and I'm going to give you a baby heart attack with my big ass, with my big fucking ass. You're just going to watch this ass until I take my fucking sweet time to get to, to drive um, past this slow ass other truck. OK, and I just got to sit there mad as hell, scared as hell, sad as hell behind the scary ass fucking truck that had the nerve to goddamn cut me the fuck off. So that's another thing you're looking at. Like these two lane highways, these trucks, they just, it's my turn, bitch. And you're going to have to accept it. So that was a hard part. <laughs> some dark parts. Let me tell y'all some of the fucking dark parts. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. You're cute, but it's just like, how cute are you? How really cute are you? Um, I was really scared to stay in any place for too long, like as a black woman in the middle of a fucking race war. Even though it's like, this is ongoing race war. It's been a race war for ever since whites ever existed. But, um, so Oklahoma, I'm, I pull up at this gas station. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's pretty white outside. I'm at this gas station. I see these motorcyclists and I'm thinking, I wonder how they feel about the wind. Like, you know, my mind is like, I wonder how they feel about the wind. And then I realize, girl, stop wondering. Stop fucking wondering how they feel about anything. Focus. Get your fucking snacks. Get your fucking gas and get the fuck. So I was like, 
All right, I'm gonna get my goddamn snacks. Got my snacks. Went back to the goddamn gas pump. Pumping that motherfucking gas. I turn around, one of them motorcyclists had a fucking vest stitched in that vest was the goddamn Confederate flag. I said, bitch, it is time to go. It is time the fuck ass to go. I got out of there so fast. Like, I didn't even want to look in that man's eyes. Also, the, the feds, I need to add that to my fucking playlist. My, the feds watching. I'm be fresh as hell. When the, fe the feds were watching the entire motherfucking time, okay? The feds were watching. That was like a really scary aspect as well. Um, but I'm so happy that most of the time, like I would catch myself speeding. You got to cruise control it, honey. Because you're, you're going to want your, sometimes you'll get tired. You'll, you'll get too into that Rico nasty. You're, you're fucking into that Rico nasty. And before you know it, you're going 87. And it's just like, bitch, you will get in trouble. You will get in trouble. The feds are enemies. Like, let's let's try not to at least speed you're you're already black you're already in danger so i'm driving i'm proud that like yo they come in all cars they come in like i could tell it's like there's just something about a fat ass bitch ass car like you can just you start peeping shit on the road like you a fat bitch I could tell you, bitch. I could see you in my motherfucking rear, bitch. It's something about that, something about that front of the car, something about the mouth of the fucking car. I see you, bitch. And then I would drive my speed limit like, ha ha, bitch. And then they would just drive next to me. And then, and then I would see the goddamn sign that said sheriff or police. And I'd be like, oh my God. Oh my God. Because it's just something you could just start feeling. And I never noticed it that hard before. Like, oh shit, that's a cop. Like, man, there were so many cops that I was like, I know that's a cop. And it, and it wound up being a fucking cop every time. Don't you just... And sometimes, and sometimes it be a regular person and it be like, you know what? You got it. I, you got it. You got it. Because you, you, first of all, you are complicit. You bought a fucking car that looks like a goddamn cop car. Fuck you too. Fuck you. So that shit was scary too. Like just not knowing sometimes it it looked like a fucking cop car. Anyway. Yeah, I'm still in DC. I don't know where I'm gonna go. My family that I could stay with, they are in Columbia, Maryland. Some are near here somewhere. I think I have family in Capitol Heights. I think that's where my cousin lives. And then I have more family in Baltimore. I don't want to like be too far from DC, but I think that's what's going to have to happen. Because, oh my God, yes, Crown Vic's scary as fuck. Um, the Dodge, Dodge anything, I don't trust you. Dodge anything, fuck you. Sorry, the light just turned off. Stay in Baltimore, you think? I'm not coming to ATL. I love you, ATL, but um, I'm already here. I'm already here. Mm -mm. We already drove <laughs> too far. All right, so is there anything else about this road trip? I know it It was, we, we were all over the place with this. This wasn't planned, me telling you. Um, okay, so I guess other things. Just, you know, watch your surroundings as you're approaching a hotel. Make sure you're looking, you know, uh, when you're about to enter your room, looking left and right, making sure nobody sees you walking into your hotel. Um, all the fancy shit or things that you care about, don't leave that shit in your car. Bring it into the hotel with you. You know, just obvious things. Um, and like I said, caffeine, caffeine is a blessing and a curse because it'll, it'll give you that zap on the road but then when you ready to go to sleep honey there ain't no sleep i didn't get real sleep until i the second day back in dc i was gonna protest and then it hit me and i was i was dead honey i was dead it hit me so yeah 
Oh, I'm sorry, chicken pretzel. What time is it? Oh, I guess it is early. <laughs> but you know what? You know, you know me. Everything is fucked up because of the time zones I've been in. How did you choose your hotels? Okay, so what I did... Oh, COVID. Oh, I could also get you hip to my COVID 